How to PDF your AutoCAD drawings faster? If you are a drafter, an architect, or anyone who uses AutoCAD for work, you probably create PDF from AutoCAD DWG files many times per day. But you don't have much time to waste. You want to create your PDF in the least amount of time. Are there any ways to do that? For example, you can make a simple Lisp function to make a default PDF safe location the same folder as your current project. This way, you can avoid going through dozens of folders to find your project. Are you ready? If you are part of the Lazy Architecto team, you have your plot settings ready because you're using the auto page setup command. If not, check link on video description. So to start, let's open the visual list editor inside AutoCAD by typing the vlist command and pressing enter. And in this window, we're going to create a new Lisp file using this icon over here. So click on it. And to start, we're going to use a function. This is going to be a simple Lisp function that is going to perform a complex operation in AutoCAD. Let me show you. So to start, in Lisp, in reality means list processing we're gonna create our first list by open a parenthesis and we're gonna use our first function which is the defund function following by the argument name of our function which would be pdf save location following by these two parentheses that will be empty in this case because we won't have any other argument in this Lisp function. So let's go down now and close this list because remember Lisp means list processing. So once we have this we're going to add inside this list whatever we want this PDF safe location function to accomplish. So we're going to open and close again a new parenthesis. And let me move it down just, just to visualize this easily. So our second function would be the set bar which will set a system variable value for us. In this case, the system variable is going to be plot to file path, which we will place inside quotation marks. And to get the value of this plot to file path, we're going to again open and close new parenthesis and inside we're going to use the function get bar to get the variable value from the dwg prefix which we will place inside quotation marks so dw prefix stores the value for the path of our plot so once we have this, we're going to need to call this function from the command line. So similar to any other AutoCAD commands. So to in order to do this, we need to add a C colon before our argument name of this function. And again, here 
we're gonna add this other list to run this list on every drawing that we open so for this again c column and the name of our function in this case pdf save location once we have that we can click file and save and save it in a folder that i can remember and that i'm not gonna move so i'll create i'll create a new folder called list and this is very important to name this lisp file acat doc and click save now we can close this the reason we name this file acat doc is because we want to take advantage of this file that autocad has it and runs it on each drawing that we open so once we have that the last step is to open the options panel by typing op and on the support file path add one path for your where you just store your acat doc file so click browse and find the folder where you just saved your acat doc file which for me is this one list and click open now you can click OK and in order to be a hundred percent sure that everything is set correctly let's close all of our drawings and AutoCAD and reopen it so let's open a new drawing and if we now want to create a PDF by using the control P shortcut and pressing enter you can see that now you'll be in the current project drawing that you are working on so you can click save to save your PDF project awesome and this is how you save time in AutoCAD. Remember that you can save somebody's time too by sharing this video. I'll see you here next week.